Greetings, students, teachers, and other assorted humans. My name is Zach Tobin, and I manage the physics demonstrations here at Caltech's Feynman Lecture Hall. The laws of physics are strange. They can be pretty weird and very unintuitive at times. And that behavior can be hard to appreciate when all you see is numbers and letters on a chalkboard. So we're going to take a look at physics experiments that demonstrate the bizarre and sometimes entertaining rules that govern our universe. Our demonstration archive includes over 200 experiments from three different centuries, including apparatus built and operated here by Nobel laureates, including Robert Milliken, Richard Feynman, and even some equipment from LIGO. So we're hoping this series doesn't just help you appreciate the concepts of physics, but a little bit of its history as well. One final note before we begin. I am a trained professional with over a decade of lab experience. The demonstrations you're about to see include high voltage, cryogenics, high vacuum, some mild explosives and caustics, very strong magnetic fields, and some just very heavy objects. Do not attempt what you're about to see without the direct and strict supervision of a trained professional. The triboelectric effect is largely responsible for what we call static electricity. Ow, ow, ow. If you put a gyroscope inside an aircraft, you can use it to determine your orientation to the ground. If I increase the current going into the coil, it ought to be perpendicular to Earth's magnetic field. You can see it swings quite freely. This here is a half-wave microwave dipole antenna. There's no such thing as a magnetic monopole. IZ and IX, being the largest and smallest, are stable for rotation. What color is fire? That means that whenever a magnetic field is forced into a superconductor, it sticks. Polar molecule, so it reacts to electric fields. <laughs> 